Hello everyone. Uh, yesterday we studied about the uh, reactions of diazonium salts involving displacement of nitrogen. So that included Sandmeyer reaction and Gatterman reaction. Now today we'll study uh, further reactions which involves displacement of nitrogen. So firstly, firstly we will study the displacement of nitrogen by iodide. So how we will uh, introduce the iodide ion in the diazonium salt or in the aromatic ring. So we will treat the uh, your diazonium salt that is ARN2Cl negative. Let us take example with your potassium iodide. So we will treat the diazonium salt solution with potassium iodide and what you will get you will get your aryl iodide then you will get your aryl iodide plus kcl potassium chloride and nitrogen gas so this is how you can introduce the iodide in the aryl group so um, by treating with potassium iodide so this was the introduction of iodide in the ring now how, how will you introduce fluoride in the diazonium salt let us see now so for introducing the fluoride in the diazonium salt you have to treat uh, your diazonium salt solution with what fluoroboric acid so let us take aryl diazonium salt and you treat it fluoroboric acid so hbf4 and then what will be formed you will get arene diazonium borofluorate so this will be formed and now when this will be heated when this will be heated then it will be decomposed to your aryl fluoride and bf3 and nitrogen okay so this is how you will introduce your fluoride in the aromatic group so uh, you first take your diazonium salt you add uh, fluoroboric acid you will get your precipitate of arene diazonium uh, borofluorate then you will heat it and you will get uh, it will decompose to your aryl fluoride bf3 and n2 so these were uh, the two reaction now we will uh, further some more uh, reactions like how to introduce hydrogen to the diazonium salt and remove the nitrogen so now we will introduce hydrogen so for that uh, we will take your uh, diazonium salt ARN2Cl negative then treat it with the mild reducing agent like phosphonic acid H3PO2 and water then what will you get you will get your arene so this will be reduced to arene uh, so here hydrogen will be introduced so ARH okay so this is arene and you will get N2 and this H3PO2 will be oxidized to H3PO3 that is phosphorus acid and your HCl will also be formed. So this is how you have introduced hydrogen to the aromatic group. Uh, this also includes displacement of nitrogen. Another reaction with mild reducing agent is with ethano uh, ethanol. So treat your diazonium salt. ARN2 plus Cl negative with your ethanol CH3 CH2 OH and what will you get you will get your arene again so this will be reduced to arene that is ARH and N2 will be formed and this will be oxidized to your ethanol CH3 CHO and HCl will also be so this mild reducing agent has been oxidized to ethanol and this has been reduced diazonium salt has been reduced to arene so these were for uh, two more reactions of displacement of nitrogen in the diazonium salt 
Now uh, two more reactions are left in which we will displace the nitrogen with OH and NO2. Now hydroxide group can be introduced into the disonium salt by heating it to the uh, up to 283 Kelvin. So uh, you will take your allyl disonium salt and heat the solution up to 283 Kelvin then your hydroxyl group will be introduced and you will get your aryl hydroxide N2 and HCl. Now this if there is benzene here then this will be phenol. So this is how you can introduce your hydroxyl group in the disonium salt by replacing nitrogen. Uh, now if you want to introduce NO2 then what will you do? You will treat your disonium salt N2 plus Cl negative uh, with first of all your uh, uh, HbF4 that is fluoroboric acid and what will you get? You will get your arene disonium fluoroborate this is benzene ring attached to N2 plus BF4 negative. Then if you will heat it with your sodium nitrite NaNO2 in the presence of copper Cu and heat it then what will you get? Now you will get your NO2 introduced into the ring. So you will get your benzene ring attached to NO2 and the byproducts will be uh, NaBF4 and your N2. So this is how you will introduce your NO2 in the ring. First you will treat it with uh, HBF4 then your uh, arene disonium borofluorate will be formed and then you will treat it with NaNO2 that is sodium nitrite in the presence of copper and heat it then you will get your nitrogen uh, dioxide NO2 introduced with in the aromatic ring. So this is how we will displace the nitrogen from this disonium salt. So today we introduced iodide, fluoride, hydrogen, hydroxide and your NO2 in the uh, disonium salt and displace the nitrogen from it. In the next lecture we will study about the coupling reactions. Okay, So uh, I hope you have understood today's topic. Thank you.